I'm Haruto Tachizaki. I'm a 21-year-old college student. I work at this deli near my house. We sell fried foods like croquettes and fried chicken. Come one, come all! Get your croquettes here! Haruto, hey! The fried chicken I bought yesterday was delicious! Thank you, ma'am! You got fried chicken too? Yeah, we just started making them last month! It's really good. You can't make that kind of fried chicken at home. Really? Maybe I should try some too. Maybe tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am! Tachizaki! What are you doing? Stop slacking off! Huh? She was interested! You should have pushed harder! She would have bought some! But... She already had a bag full of groceries and... I thought she'd say no! I don't care! Your job is to sell, sell, sell! Uh, this here is my boss. He was the manager here. He was 26. His dad owned a big restaurant franchise in town. His dad was very wealthy. He always bragged about how he was going to be the next CEO and stuff. That was fine and all, but he was a real jerk about it. I didn't really like him. Tachibana, you've been working here for three months now. You should know better than that. Maybe you should start working here more than four days a week. But I got to study too. I can't work more than four days. Sorry. Ugh, you're so useless. Whatever, get back to work. Welcome. Louder, I can't hear you. Ugh, he never does anything. All he does is bark orders at me. So annoying. Sir? Dajibana is the loudest one here. He's working really hard and... Huh? You talking back to me now? My dad owns this place. Just do as I say. <sighs> Fine. I got stuff to do. Hey, the showcase is getting dirty. Clean it up. What? We just washed it. It's clean. What does he want from us? Yeah, it's not even dirty. Sorry about him, Tachibana. He's such a jerk. And I bet he's playing video games on his phone as we speak. He never does anything around here. It's okay, Mr. Agatsuma. You're always standing up for me, so it's cool. But you're an employee at his dad's company, right? You don't always have to cover for me. You've got more to lose than me. Probably best not to piss him off. Oh, don't worry about it. This is just how I am. If he wants a yes man, he could fire me and get a robot instead. Mr. Agatsuma was my supervisor. He was a full-time employee here. He was a really nice guy. I looked up to him. I hated the manager, but I enjoyed working with Mr. Agatsuma. That's why I kept working here. Welcome! I gotta be strong like him. Then one day, this blonde girl came to the store. Haruto? Maria? Hey! I miss you! Your mom told me you were working here! How are ya? Wow, who's that? She's pretty! Tachibana knows her? Ah, uh, nice to meet you! Huh? Oh, uh, she's half British, but she grew up in Japan, so she can speak Japanese. Yeah? Oh, okay! <laughs> so, you're back from the UK? Yeah, just got home yesterday. So, what's good here? Got any recommendations? Uh, you should try the croquettes. They're really good. All right, sounds good. Hey, don't mess this up. You better fry it just right. Huh? Uh, okay. No worries. Maria was a childhood friend of mine. We basically grew up together. We went to different colleges, but we still kept in touch. Her mom was from the UK, so she went there for two years on a study abroad program. So it's been a while since I saw her. I missed her. It was so good to have her back. Haruto, I'm back. The croquet was delicious. What else you got? I think I'll try the fried pork today. And some fried chicken too. And this one too. That's a lot of fried food. You sure? 
Yeah, I really miss Japanese food when I was there. And you're really good at frying them. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just following instructions, though. The time, the temperature, it's all in there. But these days, I don't even need a stopwatch to time it. I can tell when to get it out of the fryer from the sound. Amazing! You're such a pro at this, Haruto! <laughs> Thanks! She came to our store almost every day. I really enjoyed having her around. But then... The manager. I think he developed a crush on her. Every time she came to the store, he tried to talk to her. Haruto, hey there! Welcome! Mom, let's get some fried pork today. Sounds good. Welcome! I'll take it from here, ma'am. Oh, that's fine. I want Haruto to fry it. Oh, no worries. I'm the manager here. He's just a part-time employee here. I got this. Um, no thanks. I said I want Haruto to fry it. Uh, okay. He tried to show off, but it wasn't working. So he came up to me and said, I'll give you a raise if you introduce me to Maria. What? I'm pretty sure you're not authorized to do that. When I refused, he started treating me worse than before. Mr. Agatsuma tried to protect me, but it was starting to get really annoying. I started thinking about quitting. But then, something happened. Is the manager here? She's finally gonna ask me out! I'm here! What is it? What's up? Well, I'd like to file a complaint. What? The last two times I was here, you fried the croquets for me. But look here, I can't eat this. It's all crushed, see? And the fried chicken I bought yesterday, it was still raw on the inside. Good thing I noticed, but I could have had food poisoning. But it sounded okay. What? You didn't time it? May I? Uh, she's right. It's still raw. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. Did you eat any of it? If so, you might want to go see a doctor just in case. Oh, no, it's okay. Whenever your manager prepares the food for us, we always make sure to check first, so nobody in our family ate it. We never trusted him, so that's why we always asked Haruto to fry the food, but he insisted, so... What? No! I see. As long as everyone's okay. But still, we are terribly sorry for this. Here's your money back. I'll report this up the chain and make sure it never happens again. Thanks. I really love the food here. But honestly, I don't want him preparing my food anymore. We're, We're sorry. sorry! What's wrong with you, sir? They could have had food poisoning. Why didn't you follow the instructions? You had to use a stopwatch! But... Tachibana said... I listened to the sound, yes, but I always use the stopwatch. Yeah, and you barely have any experience in the kitchen. You never do anything around here. Tachibana, did he cook for any other customers? Not that I know of. Good. You just wanted to show off in front of that girl, didn't you? I have to report this to the higher-ups. One week later, Mr. Agatsuma became the new manager. Hey! You're the new manager? All right! What happened to the old one? No idea. His dad tore him apart, I heard. Some say he got kicked out of the family. Oh, I see. Well, I'm just glad you're the new manager. I was thinking about quitting, but I don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, the old manager was trouble. He treated the other employees like crap. And he even stole money from the store. And he never did anything around the store. He was useless. I actually talked to his dad about him a few times, but he was his son, so, you know, he never did anything. But I guess even his dad had his limits. Anyways, I'm just glad this place didn't have to shut down. I love this place. Same here. <laughs> Good to hear. Haruto, can I get some fried chicken? Maria, hey! Ma'am, I'm truly sorry about the other day. I'm the new manager. The other guy? You don't have to worry about him anymore. Oh, good 
to hear. I always came here because I liked Haruto, but that old manager was always getting in my way. I'm glad he's gone. Huh? Wait, no, I mean, what did I say? I was talking about the food here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, you two. Get a room. <laughs> Sir, it's not like that. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. After that, he's returned to our little deli. Glad everything worked out. I love croquets and fried chicken too. They're so delicious, but I always eat too much of it. <laughs> Anyways, what did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.